I had my honeymoon in Coney Island. So, <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I didn't have a honeymoon. Um, she's above it. I, not that I was above it. Um, it was my husband's job and his only job for the wedding. And he, uh, what was your job for the wedding? To <laughs> tell my sister to pick what I want. <laughs> That's right. So. <laughs> Welcome back to The Prenup, the podcast where we share the best wedding tips, trends, hacks, from the industry's top professionals, celebrities, influencers, content creators, and today, my sister, Victoria. Hi, thanks for having me on. Woo! If that's not playing, I'm trying to play a clap, but <laughs> thanks for coming on today, Vic. <laughs> Thank you for having me. This is very exciting. My pleasure. We've got lots to talk about yes, today. So we will start with New York Bridal Fashion Week. Amazing. Yes. So uh, last week, two weeks ago... Um, my sister tour came with me to New York Bridal Fashion Week. It was my first and her first as well. And we got invited to some really great shows. Um, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what some of the trends that you loved were and just some of the highlights of New York Bridal Fashion Week in general. Where to start? Everything was amazing. Um, the Shows that we did were each so different. What was your favorite? I think my favorite show was the intimacy of Mira, that first one. That was a great show. It was. I yeah. was talking with Lauren from Verstolo Jeweler in New York City this morning, and she was at Fashion Week as well, and she had mentioned that that was her favorite show too. Just the delicacy of the pieces and... A huge trend right now is separate, so being able to put on a cape or sleeves or a glove piece is so huge right now, but Mira kind of was the pioneer of that. I know you've loved her forever. I really, really loved her uh, earrings that she did with everything. They had like the large stud tulip florals and the, the drop flowers too. Yes. Just yes, that was something that you noticed kind of everywhere we went. So there's a huge trend. Obviously, in simplicity, we're seeing a lot more of like that classic bridal a la Sophia Ritchie, which we'll get to. But there's also kind of a maximalist kind of fun style going as well with the big floral earrings. Which and I love. I know. I know. Yes. And you wear a big earring really well. Not like your sis. Only form. I like you in a big earring, but in for I don't like them every day. But for sure, formal, for, and when for. you're wearing formal, I think you wear large earrings very well. I don't. I've got a big old doom. <laughs> it just doesn't work well, but it's okay. It's you know, I, I wear stud. I I loved all of the earrings, hers especially. Yeah. Um, and just all of her stuff. The the one long sleeved draped cape. Yes. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, another show we went to that was a standout for me was Inez de Santo. Yes, for sure. What did you love? <sighs> Everything. I am not a ball gown person mm -hmm. and even the ball gowns, which were really light pastels, most of them. A lot of them. We were seeing a lot of color in a lot of the designers. But so faint that it wasn't aggressive. Sure. I, in my head, I would never do a color and... Just, but, but these weren't aggressive at all. It was yeah. just like the lightest pink or blue, purples. Um, I don't know if it was her with the green. It was mostly pink, blue, and purple, I feel like. I, yeah, I can't remember green, but it's possible. I'll have to look back on, on some of the pictures. But the, the ball gowns with the cascading drapery and just, oh my gosh, the intricacy of everything, so beautiful. And those models too. That was my know. biggest takeaway. It was like the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. It was a the show. show. Yeah. Like couldn't even look her in the face. Yeah. It was amazing. I know. But, I don't even know how to describe her. The tall brunette, but, Tam. Yeah, I mean, they were was, all but gorgeous. I, she, she was unreal. like a robot. She might have been a robot. She could have been. She was AI. Yeah. <laughs> and she really very well could have been. Uh, so, okay. Loved Inez. Loved Mira. Um, the Nardos show was also yes, really amazing. incredible. Yeah. That was a great show. Mm -hmm. um, where was that? Do you remember? Where... Nardos was. Was that the plaza? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that was a really beautiful collection. Um, one thing we were just talking about 
colors in gown. Do you remember from Bridal Market, the veil, the tattooed veil? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was... um, American tattoo inspired. American tattoo inspired veil. So, I mean, I'm... I mean it in a nice way. I just don't know how else to describe it. Almost like Ed Hardy. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it was. Like love, bones, was, taste. Yes. Exactly what, yes. What did you think of that? I think up close and seeing it, it really was beautiful, oddly. I mean, I wouldn't I'll have to get a picture personally of ever it do too. it. Yeah. Um, but it was very cool. All of her stuff was really cool. Um, she had like one with it with just blue florals in it too mm-hmm. and – I, she said they were all hand painted. They were all hand painted. Mm-hmm. They yes, were really, really. Cool. So that was really beautiful. Some of the styles that I just picked up on um, over the past couple of years, seeing a lot of square neck, straight across, um, plunging necklines. But I started to notice at Spring Bridal Fashion Week that we are seeing the necklines a lot more demure. Um, starting to see sweethearts come back, which I, Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like they just left, but I guess they, it's been a while. Um, so loved that. I love the necklines and things being a little bit more classic. I mean, for so long we had plunge, 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 Mm -hmm. and it's a, I mean, it's a very flattering look. I think that if you look good in it, you're never going to regret wearing it, um, But do you like where the trend is kind of going, where the trend of being classic? I do, just because you you look back on a picture and even seeing all those beautiful things at market and in the shows. Yeah. I still didn't hate my choice of a wedding dress. I'm a simple, crisp, classic person. Explain your wedding dress. It just was, I, I did have, it was a little bit low, but I put a piece in for church mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I, you know, it snapped out, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a plunging neckline right. and it was just had a little bruising in the stomach and, you know, just plain white, nothing to it. It was gorgeous. Plus in the back. It was very pretty, simple. Yes. Um, and I like, I like a classic look where you could just look back, but yeah. then again, everything there. I know. Was Where's an, an I... I like things trendy and I went very trendy with bridal and that trend has come and, and gone. But I beautiful, love, but you still, even though it was, it was trendy, trendy to me, it, yeah, it, you will look back. To, that still was a classic. Maybe, maybe not, but it was, I don't regret it. I'm glad I wore it. I loved it. it I think it was flattering to my body. It was definitely more on the trendy side. It's not something in 30 years I might be like, what, right. what was that? There like, was stuff like piece. that. Yeah. There, which it, it's so cool, but it's like, would you look back and say, like, oh my god, what was I thinking? Some right. of it was really trendy. Yeah. So mine was um, a Julie Vino, and it was kind of an exposed boning corset on top with um, like lace piece over, and it did have some shimmer in it, and I had an overskirt and detachable sleeves, and which I love. it's a beautiful dress, and I love it. And but it was it was trendy at the time, and I don't know that it will stand the test of time. But I think I'll always love it. Um, but before I get into some other things going on in the wedding world, because we're talking about classic weddings, and I of course want to talk about Sophia Rich's wedding because it's all I can talk about, and it's all I've thought about for the last since she got engaged in twenty twenty. Um, 2021, whatever that was. Um, But some other highlights of Fashion Week. Like, what stood out to you about the shows? Not just dresses, but, like, maybe some of the people or the food or, like, the hotels. Like, how, you know, Nardos was this big at the plaza Mm -hmm. and everyone's dressed to the nines. It's a huge show. Yes, and it's, you know, very cool. But then, the, like, the intimacy of, you know, Mira and then, you know, when Esther Santa was even a different vibe, an afternoon yeah. kind of tea type. Yeah. And then um, the party was so cool. Oh, At yeah. Fina. So Lee Petrograbanow hosted um, their collection at Spina, and it was a cocktail party. And there was a model DJing. And, and then the models just were kind of mingling with champagne with you. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. That one model was the most beautiful. I girl. loved her. She was so young funny. Joanna Krupa. Young Joanna Krupa. Yeah. Yes. I do have her on Instagram, so I will find out her name, but we've been calling her, her young Joanna Krupa because she's so 
She looks like her. She's she 24. So much, yes. Yeah. She's so much fun. In Gorgeous. a mini dress. Those dresses were so fun. They were so fun. Yeah. I and that was a, all mini dresses except for mini and mini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was a huge thing that I noticed upon yes. all the collections as well. Mini dresses, mini dresses, mini dresses. The reception dress is having such a huge moment. And it's... It's worked into almost every collection that we saw had at least, um, right. even Nardos is such a classic bridal style. Right. And there was uh, t- at least two minis. Yes, that big floral one, yes. the very first one yeah. that came out. That was very cool. Yeah. That was another thing I noticed, too, that it is, like you're saying, the reception dress. And even the um, the duo between, uh, behind House of Harper, how they, yes. their whole yep. collection, they were saying it's it, it's, hon- it's honeymoon looks. It's, it's um, yes. Bachelorette looks. It's bridal shower looks. It's like bridal. Girls. It's not bride. Mm-hmm. It's it's yeah. everything and the whole wardrobe that goes along with it. Right. Which was so fun to see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was beautiful. Um, anyone really interesting that you met and loved other than obviously the models that we loved? Models were great. Um, William Gooch. <laughs> Gooch. He was fabulous. Um, oh my God. Gooch was so funny. He was really funny. fun. We won't tell the story, but maybe we'll get uh, him on one day to tell it. I, I know. I hope so. Best. It's mm-hmm. yeah. It's not our story to tell. So hopefully, yes. it's it's Gucci's, but we'll we'll blur names. Um, he was great though. Yeah, but I am all the more excited for um, fall bridal fashion week now. Yeah. Right now, there's actually Palm Beach fashion week. Gotcha. TC just got back from the area, yes. slumming it here in New Jersey with us. The weather after. is nice at least. It's nice. So it's not bad today, but it's been shit. Not gonna lie, it's been it's been dark. Yeah. But uh, you know, summer's upon us. So. Sure, sure, gorgeous. Nicer soon. But, yeah. Summer wedding season, lots of weddings to look forward to. Yeah. So this past week we had some exciting wedding news. I'm sure that you heard about. Um, Ah, uh, God, I'm so sorry. What the hell is her name? Alex Cooper. Call her daddy. I did not know she was engaged. Well, it's everything's been overshadowed by Sophia Richie's wedding. Exactly. Because it's the only thing I've consumed. I think anyone who's ever even spoken to me, I haven't talked about anything else. I know Jake is really sick of it. He said, yes. he saw my video yesterday and was like, another one? I was like, yes. It has to be done, yes. This, the prenup is now a dedicated Sophia Richie fan page. As it um, until be. further notice, yeah, right. as it should be, as it should be. Lionel, especially. I've been Lionel's biggest fan <laughs> course, since always, I was a really young girl. since the small, so, right? Since you were a girl, exactly. <laughs> exactly. What's your favorite Lionel song? I would say "All Night Long." Oh, yeah. Just if you are anywhere and that starts playing and you don't smile, something's not right with you. Hundred percent. Well, I have a um, a little lightning round of three fun questions at the end. I think I'll know your answer to one. <laughs> um, yeah, but Lionel is a king, prince, angel, angel. sent from the heavens. Right. Um, yes. Love him so much. Oh, love Lionel. Lionel said that he sang for, the, you. for their first song. <laughs> Tear, really brings tears to your eyes. It's, I'll kill myself. Yeah. yeah. Lionel sang Sophia and Elliot's. Did, did I already segue into this wedding? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, no. We started actually on Alex Cooper and you said everything. Mubbe. We'll come back to Alex Cooper. Yes. Um, yeah. Let's just get into Sophia now yeah. and then we can go into the others. Yes. Um, but obviously Sophia Richie got married. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know, she got married to Elliot Grange. Um, his father's a music producer, something in the music industry. And his mother's a lady. His mother's a lady. So, that's all I need to know. That's right. wow, right? Wow, that's yeah. all. That's all any of us needed to know. Yeah. And right that's now. our recap. Thanks, of Sophia Richie's thank, wedding. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fabulous, head to toe. So, mm-hmm. um, she got engaged. I I think it was twenty twenty. Hmm. Now I can't remember. I think it was only a year-long engagement. It did seem quick. I think it was only a year-long engagement of just fact about. Check if we need, we could. Yeah. We do you want to look do it a up? Quick look while you're talking. Yeah. Um. So they got engaged in Hawaii, and from the moment that Sophia Richie and Scott Disick, April 2022. 2022. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. So April 2022. 
from the second her and Scott Disick broke up and she found love in Elliot, mm-hmm. Prince, um, her style has just elevated oh, to yes. such a level. It's so timeless, classic. Right. Um, some say it ages her up. I disagree. I think no. it's perfection, exquisite. Yes. Um, and all of her bridal looks really reflected that. So before even her wedding week, um, I have been completely obsessed. I've speculated that the wedding would probably be it's in, enough. I thought it would be in Paris because she did her bachelorette party in Paris and I figured, mm-hmm. well, she's probably there doing wedding right. things and, you know, what have you. But Fabulous bachelorette party in Paris. Amazing looks, amazing dinners, drinks, gorgeous group. Um, hilarious maid of honor and sister. Oh, my gosh. So, Nicole Ritchie um, emceed the wedding. Stop. Yes. Oh, how fun Which is, is that? hysterical and apparently it was so funny. Right. She's the funniest. She has that, um, like, a persona that she has on Instagram. She's, like, not a rapper. It's like oh, she I don't does know. something fun. It's really funny. I don't know it. Yeah, I got to look more into that, too. Yeah. Um, but that cracks me up because She's I'm so sure funny. he did a lot of those type of things as the MC. That's hysterical. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what was said, but you know, she emceed and she was the maid of honor. Um, as we mentioned, her look was fabulous. Amazing. Um, but before we get back into that, sorry, I'm jumping back and forth, but bachelorette party was amazing. And then I was also chronicling <laughs> Sophia Ritchie's wedding diet. Did you know this? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So her wedding diet, her wedding workout, which caused a lot of clearly paid off. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Looking so we, honestly, gorgeous. she's and always looks stunning. First of all, she's twenty four years old. Right. She's hot. Like ridiculous. I mean, yeah. well she's whatever beautiful. she does, she's gonna look I always said it's like she was made in, uh, her mother's gorgeous too, and of course King Lionel's is gorgeous. So handsome, but, but she's created in the lab. Definitely, she yeah. has the, all of their she's best AI. features. Yes, mm-hmm. she, she's AI. She has all of their best features. Mm-hmm. She's stunning, mm-hmm. stunning. So we knew she was going to look of course. amazing, but the there diet. was a lot of back and forth um, over whether her wedding diet was healthy. Um, I just want to say that I'm not a dietitian. I am not a health professional. I don't even play one on TV. So. Um, <laughs> true. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I read a lot and I try to practice as best right. health as that I can. Um, and I didn't think it was that crazy. She was intermittent fasting. She wasn't Which like I, is supposedly good for you. Absolutely, yeah. Thing, I mean, so. every body is different, so you know, people just are like that. That disordered eating. Like, no, no, it's not. It, it could be for someone, but I don't think it was for her. I mean, uh, who she certainly is it anyway. If you wanted to disorder eating for your wedding, <laughs> who are we to judge? Well, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I, am, I mean, I am done. Well, we're not. I, I think everyone's entitled to their opinion. I think, I think everyone should have a healthy diet so any any disordered nice eating you. i think people should do it exactly what they want for their special day i think when it ventures on maybe being unhealthy sure. then that's that's going to be a problem long term which is not good you know you could really if you're going to to get an eating disorder it's it's probably you've taken it. You too know far. I'm saying all in good fun. Obviously, of course. be healthy. Of course. But I just don't think it's anybody said that, that anybody yeah. had anything to say about it. Yes, yeah. nobody's business. Who nobody's business. She wanted them, right. And it's also not an issue until the person themselves says this is it an issue. Is. Yes, and she doesn't look unhealthy. She doesn't look unhealthy, and the habits that she was exuding really weren't unhealthy habits. Right. I think. That's a whole nother topic of conversation that I'm not going to get into, but right, people can't. need to just shut up and let people live, do what they want to do. And it's not like she was doing these like hit workouts and like intense stuff. She was doing like really light Pilates right. type. She had this great trainer. Um, uh, I'll get the name. Liz Avedur or something. She was at the wedding. Okay. Um, but yeah, her, I mean, her workouts weren't these like strenuous, like need carbs to fuel all this right heavy workout that I'm doing so I thought it was fine and she's not a big girl no. like she's a little thing right. so 
yeah, I think as long as you're getting appropriate, healthy caloric intake, you're not, um, sure. you're not getting you say, you know, <laughs> disorder. I said, I'm just I'm kidding. I'm sure. So funny. People will probably take things. I think seriously, oh, just know most of what I say is very sarcastic. Right. Well, Vic isn't, um, on social I'm media. Not politically correct. <laughs> So Vic isn't on social media. So she lives in a time where you can still make a joke. Um, right. and, and I want to stay there in that place. I think you should. I think it's really healthy. I unfortunately have subjected myself and sold my soul to the devil that is Instagram, TikTok, what have you. And I have learned the hard way that you cannot make jokes no. about, <laughs> about eating. Um, you can't say or anything. Right. Well, you really can't make jokes about anything, but you definitely can't make them about food or eating disorders, which are super serious. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, right. Um, and by the way, like, that's what I mean by disordered eating and eating disorder. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, I should probably right. check myself first. No, but no, you don't need to. I am kidding. Anything the world, it's, a is, jo- it's, yes, yes, it's a joke. It's not, right. It's, it's fine. It's not, not all jokes are funny. <laughs> I take stand-up comedy very seriously. <laughs> um, but yes, I don't think Sophia is right. She hasn't had an eating disorder no, for her wedding. She she looked it's absolutely impeccable. Yeah. Um, not emaciated. Sometimes you do see brides and it's like they took it too far. <laughs> sure. Sure jam. Sure jam. <laughs> I I think so. I think she looked absolutely did, perfect looked healthy glowing gorgeous you know what is a problem when you are unreading you you don't look like your skin doesn't look good your hair is lackluster oh, right. you know exactly. you like start to look drained yeah. so um i probably spent too much time talking about her diet but that's that's fine right. um <laughs> sure sure okay. um it's but part of it's part of the journey of Getting her to the aisle, so it needs to be discussed. All things about the sweating should be discussed. Speaking of, you said the trainer was invited, so yeah. I'm sure they're very close if it's her trainer. But how would you know the guest size? Oh, I don't know, but I'd imagine it was pretty. I would say it was probably at least 200 people. Okay, 150 to 200. I would, I would guess. Which um, is a nice. It's enough. a nice size. Um, it was though. I mean. I was going to say it was abroad, but like we're talking about Sophia Richie. You're invited to the wedding. You're going to make it work. You're going. Right. Yeah. Right. You're going to that wedding if you're invited. Yeah. But Paris was there. Um, Cameron, Joris, and G. I didn't love Queen Cameron's attire. You didn't. I didn't. Elaborate. Paris looked. Elaborate. I just felt like I've, like long sleeve, black, like it was, reminded me of what I have on now it's which just is very um it's, it's just to me i would have liked to see something you know we don't see cameron that much anymore she's sure. taken a step back since becoming my i would have really liked to see something like wow i agree just because of where it was and it was, it was super iconic but i also love the fact that she was like when i first saw i'm, them, I, I'm a wedding guest and she wasn't like looking me. yeah like that i think that speaks volumes like i'm so classy that i don't even need to get like an oscar worthy dress for sophia richie's wedding like this is a explain wedding her husband not... then i'm kidding he didn't do anything to him, so but, I, I but i did say yeah he I was mean... first dressed he did. Unfortunately, I didn't love his outfit. Fabulous man. Did you know that Good Charlotte performed the other part? I did see that. How nice. I know. Oh, that was great. I thought that was, that really, was really, really cute. Great. Um, so there is a song on, it's a TikTok song, um, Someone Sanchez, and the, the tots will probably be rolling if they okay. hear, um, because I'm sure he's very popular. I just don't know modern okay. music. I listen to Strictly Motown and Lionel Richie. Oh, do uh, do up as well, of right. course. Um, but there's a song, it's like, For you, da, da, I will never fall in love again. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, that was sung by Is the artist the... while she walked down the aisle. And he's the original singer of that? Just when I heard the clip, I'm like, is this an old, it gives that old time. It does, style, but, it, but like, I thought it was his song. Okay. I thought I like it was his that. song. I mean, it gave the lyrics it, for her and he should put Sophia into the song. Oh, how nice. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. While she walked down the aisle, which was a seven and a half minute walk down the aisle. It's too long. It's too long. Could you it's imagine? Too, 
This is too long. But her and Lionel chatted the whole way. He told her how proud of her he was. <laughs> <laughs> I read the Vogue exclusive. Okay. <laughs> And I think I was there in spirit. Yeah. I, you know what? For someone who wasn't there, I was as there as you could be. Right. It consumed my entire weekend. It was, we got great content. Not like too much where you, Just, I didn't feel like I was there. You might have. I, yeah. I felt like I was getting a pro, I had to, to dig for it at times. Right, that's what I mean, which I liked. Yeah. I didn't like when, yeah. you know, it's just throw it in your face. And I think we got just Something. right. Right. Mm-hmm. The exclusivity of it absolutely made it all the more enjoyable for me. Absolutely. So, you know, there's a lot of buzz around the wedding. Couple little details that I noticed that maybe some others okay. did not. Let's hear them. Um, the welcome bags. I love a good welcome bag. Chic, sharp. Did you say? I did. Did you love? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we had some Summer Friday products. We had some Nude Sticks products, which for anyone who doesn't know, Sophia Ritchie is the beauty director of Nude Sticks. Um, She wore some Nude Sticks product on the day as well. So I'm sure they're sold out, you know, (laughs) anywhere you can purchase them. I know I'll try to get my hands on them. I was just going to ask if you've ever tried. I never tried. You know what I use for um, a stick? I like a nice chubby stick for a contour. Right. I use Fenty. Do you? I do, oh, and I yeah. love it. Okay, I love it. And then for a, go. like a cream blush, I use just a regular old lipstick. Oh wow! Yeah, Damn. yeah. Damn. Aren't it crazy? I I look like shit today. I'm I, not wearing makeup because I left it at mommy's. Okay. Um, but I just fun. use whatever um comes in our advent calendars from Aunt Barb, which is beauty. That's products. right. Yeah, yeah, Aunt Barbie every Christmas gives us a beauty. Beauty advent calendar. calendar. So each day you open up um, a day and it's a little right. cream or a makeup. And, and then usually lasts me, you know. A whole year. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I just, you know, make two with what's in there. Absolutely. Some right. Elemis. Oh, some. Yeah. Uh, it's great stuff. Oh, it's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Papaw cream. Lucas's papaw yeah. cream. <laughs> Is it papaw? Or... I think it's papaw. I don't know. Fact check. I'll fact check that also. It's a wonderful um, product. Yeah. Um, it's Sophia Bush. We'll leave that in the show notes. Her, her wedding skincare routine included Lucas's hot paw cream. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's, right. It's and it really full circle with Lucas. Yeah. First, yep. Full circle moment. Um, but back to the other Sophia, Richie. Um, so we left off at her seven and a half minute walk down the aisle. Oh, her... Uh, welcome bags. So there were monogrammed water bottles, dad hats, um, duffel bags, Summer Fridays product, which is a beauty brand. Uh, Mariana Hewitt and Lauren Ireland are the founders, oh, friends okay. of Sophia's. Gotcha. And Elliot's, I'm sure. Guests at the wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you don't know Mariana Hewitt, you know, you've got to look into her because she's like yeah. the maven of beauty and Ooh, okay. wellness and. All the things. Add that to my to-do list, for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, she has a, a podcast as well. It's pretty good. Um, and then next thing that my watchful eye was watching <laughs> for the wedding, um, the nails. So beautiful. Sophia had a beautiful, nails. gorgeous nail. Um, Ray London Nails was the manicurist, and it was just clean, gorgeous. Um, I had my speculations about what the colors were. My guesses were either... Um, Chanel Ballerina because it was a very Chanel wedding. Mm -hmm. Um, OPI put it in neutral. Um, and then there's another, uh, bio something, Sweet Candy Breath was my other guess. Okay. Um, so I think it was one of the three. I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah. (laughs) Um. Keep digging, you'll find it. If you go looking, (laughs) you're going to find. Yep. Right. That's right. That's Um, the motto. Manicure was stunning, though. Manicure was stunning. Mm-hmm. Um, just clean, simple, gorgeous. Like, the whole look. I mean, yes. we didn't even talk about the look. I feel like it's kind of an exhaustive point to talk about it. It's the word on everyone's lips. Everyone knows what she wore. All of the Chanel looks. So the mini yeah. dress. The Claudia Schiffer of it all. Um, her yes. mini dress was inspired by Claudia Schiffer, which, if you remember last year... The Peltz Beckham wedding. Yes. Nicola Peltz's entire look was inspired by Claudia Schiffer. Right, right. Um, so Claudia Schiffer's definitely having a time. Yes. Um, yeah. God bless her. Um, mm-hmm. She deserves. Yeah. Come on. 
Uh, they just had an anniversary. Clo- I'm kidding. I made that up. Claudia and Lionel. I'm afraid maybe they are. I wonder if she was at the wedding. That'd be nice. I wonder who else. Do we know Paris, Cameron? Um, I was wondering if any of the uh, other Hilton family were in attendance. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Yeah. yeah. Star studded, I'm sure. Yeah. But I, I, I would have loved to see Kathy. Nikki would have been nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, something to look into. Any Perhaps other some. celebs that um, were there that I'm overlooking? Hmm. Thinking. While you're thinking, um, I really loved, they had uh, little champagne bottles with straws, and they gave them out to each guest oh, I love ceremony that. Uh, which I thought was really, really cute, a nice, a nice little tooch. Right. Um, yeah, there's a... Really, do we have a menu? Do we know? Um, no, we don't have a menu yet, but I can probably figure it out. One of my out. favorite things to do is see the menu. What so. What must you have on a wedding menu? <sighs> Honestly, there's no must. Something just has to blow me away. Sure. Any course. Sorbet. I enjoy a sorbet, but mm-hmm. it's not a must to me. Okay, okay. I just want something... In one of the courses that I'm like, wow, this was great. Okay, fair. What about an hors d'oeuvre? Usually I go hard on hors d'oeuvres because obviously plate of dinner isn't usually as good. It's usually going to not be great. So yeah. I really go to town on hors d'oeuvres. And, <laughs> and then if something as I'm sitting, <laughs> you know, tickles my fancy, I'll take. But then I, I usually don't eat too much when you're sitting because then I want to go hard again for dessert. Of course, of course. But before we get to dessert, what must you have in an hors d'oeuvre? And what isn't really going to interest you? <sighs> That's tough. Um, not that I eat it mm-hmm. because it's a little difficult when you're in a formal wear. Sure. But my husband's a fan and I like the look of a raw bar. La, 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 la. Right. You won't eat a raw bar? I will when the I'm not in it. Right. It's usually not at a wedding when I'm in it. I like something that's like easy to put in your mouth. Well, a shrimp. I can't eat a shrimp in one bite. I'm looking for something that... I won't eat. I don't care how big it is. I won't eat anything in one bite. I like to savor an hors d'oeuvre. But, I, but then, and that's to my point, the hors d'oeuvre is easy to take one bite of. Sure. There's no mess to it. Sure. And shrimp... Is to me difficult to be, you know, munching on a sure. on a piece of shrimp. But I I love the look of a raw bar. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, it's a really gorgeous touch. Yes, agreed. You can't go wrong with a pig in a blanket. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you prefer your pig? Do you like it croissant wrapped or croissant do you- wrapped at a wedding? There's no other option. <laughs> There's no other option for a wedding. I'm it's sure, croissant sure. Wrapped. Croissant. Croissant. <laughs> Right. Do you do a little mustard? I like when <laughs> they have it pre-done for you. I'm, um, I'm at a wedding. I'm not looking to do any work. Sure, sure. So, yeah, hand it to me. I want to put it right in my mouth. You don't want to be shucking oysters. No. Yeah, you want to be mm-hmm. right. I understand that. I understand that. How do you feel about dietary restrictions in a wedding? I think that the bride and groom cannot be too worried about over the top restrictions. Yeah. If you're a vegetarian, it's nice to have a vegetarian option. That's easy enough. And I think if you're a guest, then you have some serious restriction. Of course. You just, you know, make a quick mention to your waiter, you know, when you sit down. Anything, I mean, it can't be the responsibility of the bride and groom to make sure you have everything there to eat that everyone else does. Correct. If your dietary restrictions are so stringent, you're probably, unfortunately, you're, used to a used life to that, where you're probably you, eating before you come or planning right. to eat something after. Of or putting it in your purse, how I would do, to Ooh. eat there. Of course. Yeah. A little, a little baguette for the purse. Right. This has gotten really... Uh, I brought up the menu, didn't I? <laughs> That's okay. I'm it's it's important. No, no, no. But speaking of, uh, do we know anything about the cake? Because to me, the cake is the pinnacle. It's the most important. I Oh, so I do know a little bit about the cake. Let's hear so it. I don't know flavor. I apologize. I will find that out for you. Okay. But I know that it was cut. It was savored. 
Ooh. Yes. Ooh. So they had a gorgeous sword and they did a, a saber cut. Could have to do with his mother being a lady. Likely. Right. Likely. Wow. You know what I also loved, which isn't really a choice of his, so, you know, it is what it is, but I love that he didn't ditch the glasses. Oh, me too. It's, it's a signature like, look. Oh, agree. You can't. And no. You know, I, I always say bride and groom should look like themselves on the day. Of course. Of course. Did Mara wear glasses to her wedding? Our girlfriend, Mara, gorgeous, um, always wears her glasses. Is it four eyes? I'm kidding. But she just needs a glass of her glasses. In my head, though, I'm picturing her and she has them on. I mean, no, I guess that's just the way I see her. She did. I don't think she did. I got. Now I want to look. Fact track. Mm-hmm. I feel like she had them on at some point in the night. I'm, I'm thinking sure at her, some point yeah. in the night, but I, I don't think she got married in her glasses. Okay. Um, But love his glasses. Oh, yes, yes. Gorgeous frame. Mm hmm. Gorgeous man. He is. He's really, really handsome. Is. He's very handsome. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see those children. I think she's going to be pregnant. Strike I think away, my lord. Made in a lab. Yeah, oh, the kids will be made in a lab. lab yes, yeah. the way she was to get the perfect features of both same of the lab. parents. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was created the same lab. lab. Right. Yeah. AI. Yes. Can't beat it. Can't beat. Can't beat AI. Mm. <laughs> um, dessert. So, yes, we don't know. The cake flavor. What's your what's your dream? Oh, you know what? I'll save that for the end because okay. that's part part of my questions. Quick, tell me about um, Alex Cooper's engaged. Oh, duh! The other things that happened this week. Okay, so yes, Alex Cooper is engaged. Okay. Um, really, really cute story. So people, Mag did the exclusive. Okay. Last week, I actually felt so bad because I saw it on Instagram last Friday. Does she disclose his identity? Do we know who he is? So I, I, am, a, uh, I am not, not in the daddy gang. I'm not no. in the daddy gang, but I dabble. Yes, um, if someone because I think she's really good and she has great people on, she's and I think a beautiful she's very, girl, beautiful I've been girl. Very interested to see all of the, you know, very rich. So you know, it'll be a fantastic wedding. Oh, right? don't don't even get me started. Yeah. Um, but last week she posted um, something to the daddy gang. She had an announcement, and there was a lot of speculation that it would be an engagement announcement. And I said, what piss poor timing, because she said she was going to announce it on the 25th. I said, oh, it's not a good time to announce an engagement when Sophia Richie just got gonna married. Happen, it's yeah. going to be completely I truly didn't know until you said it. So. I'm sure it's going to get its due within this week and over the next few weeks. And with her right. planning, her wedding's going to be a huge deal. I know I'll be making a huge deal of it for right. sure. I'm very interested in that. Um, but the engagement story was really cute. So her fiance, she refers to as Mr. Sexy Zoom Man. Okay. Um, that's how they met. So he, his identity is? Well, his identity has since been disclosed. I don't know if it was before, okay. but this is all fairly new to me. So his name is Matt Kaplan. And he is a movie producer or something. Business in Man the, Bo. Business Man Bo. Gotcha. <laughs> business Man Bo. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so he's a movie producer or, or something in that gotcha. general, whatever. Um, a friend of Randall Amit. One can only hope. <laughs> one, one can only hope. Right. What was the movie he did? Um, Go- Gotti. Gotti. <laughs> and um, you said that was the... Worst movie I had <laughs> ever seen in my whole life. That's right. That's yeah. right. I hope Randall will be at the wedding. I wonder if uh, they know each other. I feel I feel like everyone's cut ties with Randall at this point. Not me. <laughs> he has my support. Do you, does he? No. <laughs> no. You never know with you. You could throw us a curveball. True, but I I mean, Rand was always unfortunate to me. It was very obvious. He was a shyster. I mean, anyone who couldn't see that. Come on. Right. A mile on. away. And it's not to mean he wasn't hospitable. On his time and pump rules. You know what's so scary? I know so many people like Rand that I'm like, I just know. Oh, most of my dear friends are just <laughs> like Rand. <laughs> Kidding. I'm telling. <laughs> just a joke. But yeah. Yeah. It's Rand. So he's back- a Rand. It's a, it's a description of someone you could say. I just Rand. picture, um, did you ever see Monsters, Inc.? Or have you seen it in like recent years? Yeah. Fairly recent. Sure. So there's a bad monster, Randall. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> like, yes. Okay. And yes. that's kind of what I was like. Someone slimy. Yeah. And, you know, mm-hmm. little, little. Yeah. yeah. That's Rand for That's it. Rand. 
but he's a he, movie producer, and we actually sorry. don't know whether matt kaplan knows ray in battle at all so that the this best is all she heard it here first speculate <laughs> alleged it's, it's all alleged <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah see something in the so she calls him uh mr sexy zoom mm-hmm. man okay but i believe she said that she'll now be referring to him as matt okay um but the engagement story is really really cute so he and her manager publicist or someone set up this fake photo shoot for her they said like oh you have to do a photo shoot so today the way it ought to be the way it ought to be and it's so like it's so tracks because right. she has to do she them all the all time the, yeah. so they're like doing her nails and her hair and whatnot and they're like pushing for all these photos because i guess they needed more time you know so that he could set up when he needed to set up she's out of the house getting okay. all done getting all these photos done and then at a certain point she's like i gotta go like yeah you know this is done i don't because she doesn't like photo shoots so she goes home and there's just candles mm. everywhere, yeah. music playing throughout the house, um, and there's a laptop up and there's some sort of like message from him. So it's a scavenger hunt. Oh, how fun. Yeah. But I thought it was such a good idea for anyone right. to do something like that. So, okay, yeah, maybe you're not going to be going to a photo shoot, but let's say, you know, I'm proposing to you. Good idea to do it on a day where you're, like, maybe going to a baby shower exactly. or a girlfriend's birthday party. Right. And then you come home least expecting. And I Well, but you're right. looking good. Yes. You know what I mean? Exactly. So flowers, candles Beautiful. everywhere. Gorgeous ring. She looked adorable. Do, uh, do we? I got to look up the ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. So I didn't get a really good shot of the ring, but from what I can I'm tell, it's an talking. oval. Um. She didn't post it on her Instagram page, but I have it on my Instagram story. Gotcha. If you want to check her out. I think it'll, I think it'd go either way with a wedding. I, yeah, it looks just like an enormous large oval. Gorgeous. Thin enormous band. I can't see that well. It might not be platinum. So especially with rich celebrity people, it seems like engagements are not very long, so I can't imagine this will be a I'm very... Super quick, yeah. Super quick, yeah. Like, eight, eight to 12 months. Some, somewhere. Great. Yeah. Great. That's perfect time. So big in the wedding world. Any other... Yes, yeah, some other things. So, another person who I love so much that I have not even talked about at all because I've been in a Sophia Richie trance, Simone Biles got married. Oh. I know who I... Oh, oh my. I didn't I'm, even know. Who doesn't love her? But yes. I think, so she got married, um, at the Justice of the Peace. Her long boyfriend. Long time ago. Yeah. Gorgeous guy. Yes. He plays for the Texans or something? That sounds, I don't know. He's sports. A, it's sport. It's a sport. It's a sport. He's a footballer. Um, undrafted. Ooh. Let's mm-hmm. see. Okay. Who knows what it means? Right. I know I don't. <laughs> um, Jake actually did explain to me. So, and when you're undrafted, it means you just, like, walked on. Like, you weren't found. You just, like, went and auditioned for the role. Gotcha. And for the lead. Part. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Is, not audition. What's it called? Um, try. Try out. Try out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Try, try out. out. Is that it? I would think, yes. Sounds about right to me. Audition sports. for the it's, sport. It's, it's sport. Thank it's you. Science. It's science. <laughs> it's boring but it's my, it's my life. life but yeah simone got married um i think they're gonna do another wedding celebration of sorts um because okay, well, it was like a justice really, of the peace i love those i think it was family there too but she had a really fun bougie bachelorette party yeah. um that's a good question not turks and kitten oh city just, i'm <laughs> ac ac and jack you right. heard of it I have. Uh, nothing against AC. I, I love it. AC is it's a great time. It's great time. Some of my best memories in AC. Absolutely. Oh, this past summer, uh, uh, we had a friggin' ball. Um, where do we go? The place. In AC? Yeah, for Nicolette's Bachelorette. Oh, that was fun. What do I know? <laughs> yeah. You and I. Oh, my I God. I came late from a, from a wedding. You did. Yeah. You did, but... It was imperative you be there. And I got there just the right time for oh the my line God. dancing. The disco, the That's line dancing, us, uh, some 75-year-old. It's a shame we couldn't go to the club after you had left your ID. I had left my ID, unfortunately. Yeah. It's a very sad story. Club, but honestly, I feel like we had a ball. Right? Well, they left shortly after. But nothing against AC. AC is, AC you is know. Where it's at. Um, oh, yeah. But 
Turks and Caicos, you think? Uh, or somewhere mm-hmm. adjacent. Um, but she did it with another friend of hers, like too. That. So it was like a joint bachelorette. And That's fun. all the girls. Yeah, really fun, cute trip. And she's so gorgeous and yeah. made a really beautiful bride. But I think Bad. she's doing something else as well. So yeah. stay tuned. For sure. And this one, if you don't already know, might throw you for a loop. You ready? Let's hear it. It's been alleged that Romeo Beckham is engaged to his lady love. I didn't know. Oh, I did know he had a lady love. He has a lady love. I don't know her name. (laughs) Blonde. Cute. Respectful to the parents. (laughs) Unlike some people. (laughs) Kidding. Oh, my stars. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It is exactly what it is. Disrespect. Yeah. I mean, we don't know, but it seems we like do. it's disrespect. It's it seems, yeah. yeah, it seems like it's disrespect. Um, but yeah, Romeo, who is a football star, yes, like just like dad, just like dad. But the Beckhams get married young, they and do. everyone's getting married young. So if he is only twenty four, right, right, and Simone Biles is young, right, um, and uh, what's the other Beckham, the kid, the one I don't like, <laughs> uh, Brooklyn. I don't dislike him. I just think he's a cartoon. Sure. Chef, Chef. extraordinaire, cartoonist. (laughs) (laughs) Help me. Um, Yeah. He's a star. I think he seems like a really sweet soul. Right. But he is a cartoon character. Mm -hmm. A little bit. I I don't respect him because he doesn't respect his parents. I think he respects his parents, but I I think he respects his bride more. Which you'd want if that was your husband, but... Not if your in-laws are the Beckhams. You can't imagine they're anything but, I mean, but David. Cold and lovely. So. David and I just lather yeah, ourselves in moisturizers. moisturizers. <laughs> <laughs> love to be a fly on that wall. Uh, love to be a fly yeah. on that wall. They're so, so he, gorgeous. They really are. So, uh, supposedly, they, um, Paps caught a ring on her finger. So, they're, that's, what okay. they're, that's what they're saying. So, that's well, what the, the tabloids are saying. All right. So, we'll keep an eye out for that as well. Yep. Absolutely. Um, um, and in the wedding world, I mean, we're going to be getting a lot more wedding seasons upon us. So, May, June, and then September, October. I'm sure we'll have a lot more. All right. Before we wrap up, I yeah. do have three questions I'm for so you. so bad at fast answering. Oh, but let's see. Fast okay. answer. Oh, okay. they're, they're actually not. Oh, I thought it was like a, like a Danny Pellegrino lightning round. Type. No. Okay. No, no. Not, it's not a lightning round. It's just a little, a fun little wrap All right. Up. Let's hear it. Okay. So I'll start with what will be your favorite, I suppose. So your dream wedding cake flavor. Oh. Okay. What is it? What does it taste like? It's sweet teas, lemon raspberry. Okay. But you have to explain that. Sweet Cheese is a little bakery in Haddonfield. Uh, they have the best cake Kate. in the entire world. That's and right. it is a lemon, raspberry, uh, like I guess a vanilla pound cake based um, with well, raspberry lemon, filling. Is it a lemon cake? Yeah, I guess. It's a lemon. I thought the icing is what's the lemony. What's the, the raspberry? Is like the... Uh, as like a filling there it's like you can't because you can't it's see like the raspberry jelly. yeah it's like a yes preserve what do they call it preserve. Preserve. is in it and then I, I believe it's vanilla cake they might have some you know I'll, I'll check on this but it was introduced to me by my sister for my bridal shower many moons ago mm-hmm. and i she loves lemon raspberry that um Everyone close to me get it for all other events since, so I can eat it. It's That's right. excellent. And Shout out they to thank Sweet you for tea. it. Shout out to Sweet Teas. All right. Best. Excellent, excellent choice. It's a great, delicious game. Yes. Okay. Next question. I think I already know the answer, um, alluding to what you mentioned earlier. What song must you hear at a wedding? Oh, my God. Is that the one that best um, must hear at a wedding? I, yes. Yes. Can you give us a little oh, sample? I- I would never disrespect Lionel that way. Me but neither. is there a song better, really, though? No. It's... No. If you can hear that song and not feel something, you're a sociopath. Agreed. It's excellent. Agreed. It's beautiful. Sure. It's... It's... It's Lionel. Already, it's Lionel. It's, it's Lionel. There's no other way Lionel. to describe mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. King. King. Ooh! Guess I'm on my way. Beautiful. beautiful. Um, and then... Third is a dream honeymoon destination or recommendation. And I would like you to go into specifics if you could. 
I had my honeymoon in Coney Island. So, <laughs> kidding. I didn't have a honeymoon. Um, She's above it. I, not that I was above it. Above um, it. it was my husband's job and his only job for the wedding. And he, uh, what was your job for the wedding? To <laughs> tell my sister to pick what I want. <laughs> That's right. So, um, I'm kidding. It was a John no. Foley job. It was a very collaborative effort. And John helped a lot. And you it did was. so much. And he, we just, I really, you know, I regret it. Work was really crazy for both of us at the time. I really only took you off the weekend at my wedding. So let's go on yeah. vacation whenever you want. So, and we tend to stay local because he doesn't like to go away for very long. Um, dream honeymoon destination. So, okay. Be- uh, Give us a dream honeymoon destination and dream then give us a honeymoon be. recommendation, even if it is like a local. Okay. Um, dream honeymoon destination would be the homeland. I would love to go to Italy one okay. day. Where in Italy? Um, Lake Como. You, oh, yeah. join me. I honestly would love to. Join me in September. But I would like to meet you there if I could. Uh, Please do. See if we could get it to work. I love that. Um, yes. Please bring me to we go. go. <laughs> Dream to go. Um, yeah, that would be my Gorgina. Yeah. Okay, so Como is your dream yeah, destination. Just... And then if you were giving a honeymoon recommendation. Since I haven't been on one, I can't really. Well, um, like a great, where's a great trip that you went on? Um, a place that you stayed? Like give us specifics, please. Mm-hmm. Please. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you have to do something quickly, like how we always do quick weekends john and i always love the COVID atlantis is so nice COVID atlantis okay okay um it's quick flight from where we are and it's just easy to go um is that where the olsen twins stayed in holiday in the sun that is uh they were at the atlantis resort for sure this winter break i want jordan yeah (laughs) um obviously steer curler of champlain uh and the artifacts so don't want trouble we're in jail, <laughs> foreign country. Is what you want to avoid? I cannot. I'm sure, I am done um, for a mini moon. I mean, you go to lots of like cities in the states. Um, if someone was doing like a, a little mini moon, mini did you like Vail? Would mm-hmm. that be a good? Yes, and I hear it's beautiful in the summer too. But Is that right? I, I just mm. did it for the first time in the winter, and oh my god, Virginia. Yeah, yeah. I I took a bajillion pictures and not one of them does justice of how unbelievably beautiful it is it was really an experience took and great i hits. highly recommend that everyone go once in their life i'm not even a cold destination no. trip person and i cannot wait to go back but it's failed yeah you know yeah it was amazing amazing i love it yeah and I think I want to start incorporating um this question in we'll see test how it does let's it? test it um most iconic movie bride character. I thought you were going to say bride. But Could also be uh, television programming. Luke and Laura. Luke and Laura. <laughs> Luke and Laura. I mean, did you see the magazine? When I think, when you say no, you were telling me. About oh my it. God, when God. I see, when I you think it's real. Luke, <laughs> I just have to say, when you said TV, my head immediately like the. The TV wedding of all TV weddings is Luke and Can Laura. you explain what Luke and Laura is for, for youths? They are. Because it, bef- it predates it us. It predates me. But um, the legend from our parents. Yes. Um, <laughs> Luke and Laura were stars on General Hospital. Um, and, I just don't believe And my parents said the world stopped for their wedding. Like everyone, not everyone watched General Hospital, but it was so popular at that time that the world stopped for Luke and Laura's wedding. It was as if it was a royal wedding. Like, everyone and it was in for this wedding. And it was. And I can picture it in my head. I can too. Yeah. I actually, I can picture it so clearly because there is a People magazine with Luke and Laura on the cover on my coffee table at this moment. That's really funny that you said that. Yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah. really funny. But yeah, in my head, like you, when you said TV, immediately I went to. Okay. So that's like funny. Okay. So what, if just. Iconic character bribe. And or movie. Okay. Um, this was on TV. It was televised. That's fine. They're not at. I no. It still, has to be a character. But it would have okay, to be say, a character. Say what you're gonna say. To me, there was no bride more stunning to date 
you know, Kardashian people hate her, but I, I, she looked unbelievably beautiful. That dress was Kim Kardashian. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Uh, the one to Kanye. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Was that there was, anything more beautiful? There's nothing more beautiful. That dress, that her hair, everything. She looked perfect to me. That was the ideal bride. And what about Kanye? He ideal groom. too. <laughs> I like that he even in their in their time together, he never upstaged her in any way. Even though he does some, I mean. Say what you will about him. He's a mogul. He's a fashion icon. Um, yeah. He's, he's, but he, he's all, well, he let he, her yeah. have her, and she really was the most stunning. Classic, bride. gorgeous, yeah. stunning. Um, okay. I'll, I'll allow okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I'm You're trying welcome. to think as a runner. And um, what's your favorite wedding movie? Okay. So we'll separate Father the bride. Of course. Father of the bride. Yeah. Worst. Oh my it's God. better. Well, I, Father of the Bride is my number two wedding, number mo- my, my best friend's wedding. Oh, oh wow. I know. Yeah, that is so good, too. Yeah, I know. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. But Father of the Bride is my third favorite movie, second favorite wedding movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It's so good. I never get old. Actually, it's probably my fourth favorite movie. Okay. It's probably Grease. And then my best friend's wedding, Karate Kid, Father of the Bride. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mine's uh, Rocky's one through four. Yes. Um, and uh, Night at the Roxbury, oh, classic, which also, also has a great, great movie. Ava great is yes. the uh, bridesmaid, okay. Molly Cannon is the bride. <laughs> what a great, yeah, great wedding movie, fabulous wedding. Yeah, yep. that I would, I will take that as a wedding movie. Thank you, Vic. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This was so much fun. Where can people find you? you know, people can find me at my, at my home. home. <laughs> I made Jake listen to this podcast the other day, and I was like, oh, this guy is, like, life-changing, whatever. And he called me. He was like, are you fucking serious with that weirdo? I was like, no, I really liked him. He was like, he was so creepy saying, like, people can heal their illnesses just by going to the beach. And I was like, I believe that. (laughs) He was like, that's not true. Heal my illnesses. And at the end, the host, who... I won't say the name because I love her and I think she's great. And I thought he was great too. But she said, where can people find you? And he said, you can find me in your heart. And you're so I like that. I don't think you're taking that from now on. What, did I'm not take heart. kindly to it. Oh, wow. Yeah, but you can find, you can find me in your heart. heart. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> you can find me in your heart, in a piece of art. Um, <laughs> wherever. You know. Look up in the sky. I'm there. And now uh, that's where you can find me. And it's been lovely chatting. It has. It's been lovely chatting with you. And will you join us again? I would love to. Yes. Thank you we so have much. Thank back. you. Yeah. Um, I'll be in touch. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. oh, peace.